<laughs> well, we're on our way to a mysterious place. Isn't that right? That's right, and well, I have no idea. Mysterious to him. <laughs> pretty, pretty sharp looking truck. Look at there, pretty sharp looking truck. We're gonna get on our way here. What is up loud and proud crowd? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. It was a really good day. And um, we are going to get on our way here to our next destination. This isn't gonna be such a long drive. Last drive was a lot of driving yesterday, but not too bad today. So we're gonna get on our way here and um, hopefully everything goes good. Should be pretty exciting. The old Dodge fired up. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Well, the cruise control works. Any thoughts on what we're about to do? Not yet. Not yet? Still trying to think about it? I'll think about it. <laughs> but I'm not sure what we're up to. Yeah, we'll find out here soon. He's a little sneaky. He's a little sneaky, <laughs> yeah. I have my ways. You getting any hints? I, I think I got, a, I got a hint here. What do you think? Something to do with tires. <laughs> Maybe something. We'll find out. So, he thinks now we're just doing tires. But he's about to find out we're going to put some chrome wheels on there for him. Going over. Very good looking big. I love it. Right. Style you like? Yeah, I like it. Brand new tires. Give me through the winter one. Look at that. How do you like the new wheels and tires on it? You talk about spoiling a grandpa. <laughs> I'll never be the same. Nope, I'll never be the same. It looks like a brand new truck. Now we're going to celebrate and get an Arby's gyro. We didn't go any taller because he likes the height of it the way it was. With the chrome, he prefers the chrome look. Take a picture of me. <laughs> My truck. You like those linings in there? Yeah, I do like those linings. What it also does, it keeps mud from getting thrown back in your bumper and setting up in there. I don't want to put any of them flaps on it or leave it off. Oh, you, you know what? It might not be a horrible idea just keep keep some mud from flying up right here and rock chips, you know what I mean? Yeah. I do like how clean it is though, overall. Like, if this truck would have been in Ohio its whole life, it wouldn't be this clean at all. Yeah. Those are actually a new tire, and the reason I went with this style is he said that they're actually made here in Ohio. Oh, well, they are. He said they're an Ohio manufactured tire. Oh. And it's an Ohio brand. So I said, well, we'll just support the local local business will go with the Ohio stuff. Did I get the wheel color and the tire combination right? Hey, you did fine. Yeah, it looks good. Mayhem wheels and Kenda tires. The black, I know they're getting more popular, but I'm still in the chrome business. Well, I like the chrome on it, especially on a white truck like this, I like the chrome. Shows up things a little bit. Shows the tires off. Yeah, it does. And these headlights are surprisingly clean. You know how I they usually get all foggy? About them, how, yeah. They look they look brand new still. The ones on the uh, Dakota are faded on the front. I don't know if that'll come off or not. Yeah, they. I think they sell some kind of cleaning products for that. I like these. Yeah, the tow hooks are always nice. So you can pull out the Chevys and the Fords, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it was another good day. I like, I like the way that looks. I was going to tell you guys, it has automatic windows, so you just click the button once and they go down on their own. Rare thing to find on these older trucks. And then it has the heated mirror option. I think he likes that. We like it. Mirror's all iced up and fogged up, you can't see out of them. So that's a nice, that's a nice thing to have. And then also it's got 
What else did it have that I was surprised? At? Oh, it's got power mirrors on this one. It's just the right look for what he would, he would want. Well, everybody, we got the wheels and tires put on my grandfather's truck. No, they're not anthems. I'm sorry. However, it was a, it was a local shop and it was one of those situations where I'm going home tomorrow to do another video, which go figure the next one's probably going to be um, a wheel and tire installation that uh, I've been waiting on for the red truck. But these do look really good. I think they're called Mayhems. I didn't really, I really didn't know what they were. He just sent me pictures and said, hey, would these look good on the truck than Grandpa? I said, yeah, because I'm trying to set it up as a surprise thing. And he said, these are a local Ohio manufactured tire and brand. So, you know, we just put some Kenda tires on there because um, he's all about He's all about staying local and stuff like that whenever he can. Even with Walmart, he's like, I don't like the fact that 80% of their stuff is, you know, um, imported. Not the way he was raised, you know. Um, so it's one of those deals. But beautiful, beautiful setup on the truck. We did 17 by 9s and then 285, 70 R17 tires, which is just the perfect look for, like, what he likes. You know, he's not into the giant, jacked-up, stanced-out monster truck look. He didn't, like... You know, little tiny low rider truck look. He doesn't like little skinny tires, you know, that type of deal. He likes just like an aggressive old man's farm truck. That's just the style that he likes. So that's what we went with. I wanted to meet his criteria with the truck that he wanted. And he said he likes chrome running boards. He likes chrome wheels, aggressive all-terrain tires, and he just likes an extended cab. That's, that's all he really asks for in a truck. He doesn't need anything new. He just, he likes his truck just the way it is. He says, he keeps saying that's a great truck anyhow, you know what I mean? So you can imagine how he feels about something like this. He said this is the newest truck he's ever owned too. 2001 apparently is the newest he's uh, ever had. So um, just been a huge blessing to be able to do this for him. And I want to thank you guys too. Because you guys participating in these giveaways and buying the merch and watching the videos and liking comment, all this stuff, that stuff makes it so that I'm able to do what I do. You know what I mean? So a huge thank you to you guys for just sewing into me so I'm able to sew into as many people as I possibly can and do my part in trying to make the world a little bit better place. We're actually still running a little sale and what I mean by a sale, it's not really a sale I guess you could say, just kind of like a, a giving back type of a thing. It's I'm calling it the everybody win sale, everyone win sale. So basically what I'm doing is every single order is getting cash back in their order. You could win a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty, fifty, a hundred, two hundred, like it, there's really no limit to it. Basically what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna give my mom a stack of cash and be like just put money into all kinds of random orders. Doesn't matter how much they spent, whether they spent 15 or 100, um, just put money in random orders, you know, that type of a deal. Keep in mind though, every $15 you spend, every $15 more that you spend, gets you another entry to win a free diesel truck. We have two second gens, one's like this but it's red with a flatbed and that one is stanced out and looks really good and leveled out and stuff. We have compound turbos and everything, we've got a five-speed manual dually and we've got a five-speed manual first gen Four. these are all four-wheel drive trucks beautiful trucks but anyways guys win cash and still every $15 you spend even if you win cash back still gets you entered in to win a free diesel truck and that ends this month so don't miss out At the end of the month it's over September 30th is the last chance if stuff sells out before then I can't help you guys on that it's just kind of first come first serve thank you guys so much for joining the giveaways and watching the videos and all that stuff. You guys are awesome. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.